Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Yuli here. In this educational video, I'll do my best to simplify the topic of EMF because sometimes it can be a very complex topic. So, I'm going to talk about four different types of EMFs. So those are the different types of EMFs currently which exist, electromagnetic fields, why each one is important, how you measure each one, why it's important to measure the EMFs, and I'm going to show you a sample toolkit of EMF meters I personally use and recommend to anyone using who wants to actually measure the EMFs in their environment and then mitigate the exposure. So, EMF type number one is radio frequencies. This type of EMF is the wireless technology. It's working between 2 GHz to 5 GHz frequency. So this is your cell phones, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi routers, uh, anything which is emitting Wi-Fi and wireless signals. This is one type of EMF. 5G, for example, is working on wireless technology on higher frequencies. And that's partially what causes people right now to have more awareness about EMF. So that's the first type of EMF you may be concerned about and you may want to measure. So I recommend using the following EMF meter for measuring radio frequencies. This is the EMF fields acoustimeter. It's working between 200 megahertz to 8 gigahertz so it has a broad spectrum it's very easy you just click a button turn it on and you start measuring my room right now it's zero this is a good value for money you don't want to buy a very cheap 20 dollar to 40 dollar emf meter because it's going to be very inaccurate and there is no real point in it so that's an example of one meter which i recommend there are different other meters in the market but that's a meter which will measure just the radio frequencies, just this type of EMF, which I see from the side is the most common and the one people talk about. However, people seem to be ignoring the other three types of EMFs. They don't measure them and each type of EMF can affect you differently. Some people are sensitive to radio frequencies, other people may be more sensitive to other types and this is not necessarily the most harming ones. You want to care about all four types of EMFs. The second and third type of EMFs is electrical fields and magnetic fields. To keep it very simple, every electronic device is going to have some electric field which is being created and a magnetic field is created when you have two wires going very straight and in between them there can be a magnetic field. So for example, if the wires are very straight, the magnetic field is small. If the wires have big distance or something is not wired correctly, you have a larger magnetic field. You see, it's very simple. I'm trying to simplify it because people can try and make it much more complex than it is. Now, there are different meters and you would want to measure the magnetic fields and electrical fields. The reason magnetic fields can be more harmful is because they literally go through your body. So there is very hard for your body to actually mitigate and reduce the exposure. And that's why magnetic fields may be even more harmful than radio frequency or electrical fields. I love the following meter. It's from Gigahertz Solution ME3518. Uh, you'll see in other videos in this channel of me using this meter. There are other meters. However, this meter is very accurate. It's also around $400. You don't want to buy a very cheap meter because then it will do a bad job. You can never know which device or how much fuel is in a very specific place and you can only do it by measuring, by actually getting some form of a meter, taking and measuring the fields and then reducing your exposure because building biologists say there's only a very safe levels of exposure, however, most people are exposed to much higher levels than the safety levels. The fourth EMF, which is also ignored many times, is dirty electricity, or another word is electromagnetic interference. To keep it real simple, it's basically 
what happens when you shift from AC to DC. And this is different fields which should not be there and they're potentially going through the wires of your house. And this can be due to different devices you're connecting or different devices you're using, which create the dirty electricity because companies are not aware of it. Or it can even come from neighbors, from different devices and things they're doing in their house, which creates their electricity and can go throughout your neighborhood. This is like, it's called dirty electricity because it's electricity which should not be there and it can have a biological impact. An example of a meter I'm using, which I love, is called Alpha Labs Line EMI meter. There are different types of meters for this type of EMF. It's very simple, you just plug it in the actual adapter in your house and it measures the amount of dirty electricity and to mitigate it is very simple. You just plug in a dirty electricity filter. So it's an unknown type of EMF more or less, I would say, less understood, but one of the easiest to mitigate because you just plug in something electricity and it solves, it can make you feel so much better. So those are the four different types of EMFs. Just to summarize what we've been talking about, EMF number one, radio frequency. EMF number two, electrical fields. EMF number three, magnetic fields. EMF number four, dirty electricity or electromagnetic interference. You need different meters for each type of EMF and each type of EMF can be very harmful and you wanna make sure you mitigate your exposure and each person will be sensitive to different types of EMF. So I hope this video is helpful for you to simplify the topic of EMF, which can be complex because it's very scientific, but it doesn't need to be complex. We can make it very simple and very easy. Hopefully this video helped you do just that. So I hope you enjoy this content. Please subscribe below this channel for more EMF educational videos and more EMF protection advice. And I'll look forward to seeing you and explaining more about EMF in the coming videos. I hope you have an amazing day.